Hello, this is Ricky Horton again. Welcome to the third installment of the 2020 iBeta preview. Uh, we've done two videos already, one of them on, on the new drawing logs and how it's customizable, and then uh, last time on the uh, global edit and deleting of revisions, which is really, really nice. Go look at those videos. I'm going to do one today on just the uh, general layout change in project management module. Um, it's completely been redesigned, reorganized. I think it's a little bit easier to understand and, and uh, be able to get to your information. Um, it's a lot more adjustable, as you can see. Um, there's some really nice stuff here. Um, a lot of this is the same information. It's just in a different format. Makes it a little bit more accessible to you. Um, in the general area here, a lot of this is the same with the exception of this job status which I will explain in the next video because this is a much bigger topic than, than uh, I'm going to handle in this one video. You also have access to Trimble Connect Project and where you can link to it. Um, that used to be hidden up here in this menu. I like it right here because I always suggest that you link to the Trimble Connect Project as soon as you create the project here. That way you're the administrator of it. You control it. Uh, set it up right away. Um, you're tabs for your contacts have now gone away and it's just in this project contacts area. I really like this. It seems like when I, when I work with new clients that are totally new to Techly EPM, with the tab version, they seem to think, well, I have one tab for the client and then how do I do a new one? Well, this makes it a little bit more clear. You just keep adding contacts. They're just contacts, not tabs for the particular client. So, this is nice. All the information is still the same, but it's just reorganized for you. All your buttons here are now reorganized instead of having different areas and sections and your sum project summary being down in the corner and project schedule down at the very bottom, kind of out of sight. This just kind of reorganizes it. But let, let me go over to the summary tab now. This is, this is really nice because it does give you exactly what it says, a summary. The drawings, you can see the different drawing logs that you created. You get your total, your, your total approved, and your total on hold. So it's nice to be able to um, do that there. You can even customize it, move some of those out of the way if you don't want to see them as well. So it that's very nice to be able to have. Plus, if I click on, on this plus button up here, I can then go in and look at um, specific, uh, and, and set a filter for specific drawing logs just like I can by clicking on the button down here. Change order, change order screen, if I select that, I can also, once again, select filters for going in to see the change orders. I want to see what's been answered but not approved, answered, approved, approved, not in contract, approved, in contract. See what's outstanding or overdue. Those are very nice. I can just click on that and go right in. Same deal with transmittals here. Let's say I wanted to see the transmittals that are overdue. Then it takes me and just filters right to the one that I need to look at there. And you see your totals here. I've got one overdue transmittal. Same deal with RFIs. Um, same concept. I can see how many total we have, how many open, outstanding, overdue, and closed. And once again, I can set a filter by just going into it. Same deal all the way down through here, which is very nice. I like the layout much better. It's more clear. It can help you get to the data you need much, much quicker and go ahead and preset the filter for you when you go in and look. So go in and play with this a little bit. Um, I do like the layout much better. Download the uh, 2020i beta version. It's a public, public beta. Um, I'll put a link to it in the comments. Give me comments below. Let me know if you got any questions on this. Hope you're enjoying the series. We'll be back with a new one tomorrow on job status open and close.